Here's a quick look at Diana Rupp's fabulous new online sewing course, Sewing Studio. Okay, so let's take a look at what's on the, the pattern envelope step by step so we really have an understanding of what's on here and what to look for. First of all, you'll see the name of the pattern company, which in this case is Butterick, and the pattern number. So this is where you're going to, you know, when you go to the drawer to pick it out or when you're looking at it in the catalog, this is how you're going to identify this particular style. You'll also see that there's sizing there, and this is something you really want to watch out for. You know, if you're making something like a dress, it's a really good idea to measure your bust and your hip before you go shopping so that, I'm going to flip it over for just a second here, so you can check and see what size you are generally. This particular pattern is kind of on the smaller side. It only goes from size 6 to 12. So if you know your larger size or if you know your smaller size, you always want to keep that in mind because it's possible that the company has broken it up into more than one size and you want to make sure to have it when you get home and you're laying out your fabric. Okay, so let me let you in on a little secret. When you go shopping in stores, the sizes are not real sizes. They have done a little trick on you and made you think like, oh goodness, I'm a zero, really? It's not really how it works in sewing land. The sizes in stores are vanity based and they like to have you think, oh, I'm smaller than I really am. Now, when you go to start sewing with a commercial pattern, you face this harsh reality that no, you're not a certain size, you're actually four, or maybe even five sizes larger. So don't buy into it, sizes don't mean anything. You want to have the correct size and you want your project to fit you. So if it's not the same size you wear in the store, that's totally fine, just move on and start making your project. But one other thing I want to say about sizes is that oftentimes, the manufacturer of sewing patterns will add a lot of ease to the project and that means that the fit is fairly loose. So if you like a more fitted garment, there's a pretty good chance when you go with the size that they've recommended for your body, it's going to run a little bit big. So anytime I, I use a commercial pattern for the first time, I make sure to do something that's known as a twall, which is just a sample of the project and a really inexpensive you know, muslin fabric that you can try on and get a better sense of the fit. But we're going to talk about that more later. So just to be clear, your size is the measurements of your body. And in one store you may be a 12, in another store you're a 14. That doesn't matter. We're here to make a garment that fits your body perfectly. And no one's a standard size anyway. So it's entirely possible you'll pick a size. It'll be a little bit large. It'll be a little bit small. And that's why you're learning to sew. So you figure out exactly what fits you and how to make a project that's going to fit you like a glove. To learn more about Sewing Studio, click the link.